Let's take a closer look at some key concepts, namely spots and blocks. A spot may be a single display. Content is sent from the server to this display via the network. Some displays come with built-in players, allowing the display to be directly connected to the network. For more demanding applications, a separate player can be used. This can be a regular computer, a small Chrome box, a bright sign player, or something similar. By using a touch display, a display spot can also be used to present interactive content. A mobile device, such as an Android tablet, an iPad, or a phone, can be used as a spot. This device can either be managed explicitly, just like other display spots, or it can be managed specifically as a mobile spot, allowing your visitors to use their own mobile devices over a local Wi-Fi network. A mobile spot can play audio or other content synchronized to other spots in the system, such as video playing on a display. For large-scale projections or other demanding applications, you can use specialized systems such as Dataton Watchout. Blocks can control all aspects of this watchout spot, just as it controls other display spots. Likewise, audio synchronized to the watchout spot can be played through visitors' mobile devices, including support for multiple languages. Sometimes the point of interest is not related to any display at all. It may be related to a geographic location, part of a city tour, or a physical object inside a building. This is managed by a virtual spot. Content associated with this virtual spot can be accessed by visitors while at this physical location. Let's move on to the Blocks Editor, used to create, edit and manage all spots and blocks in the system. Here spots appear on the left-hand side of the display page. The type of a spot is indicated by its icon. Use the Spot menu to add new spots. Spots can be organized into groups, which is particularly useful for larger installations with lots of spots. Your content is managed in the main part of the display page through these objects called blocks. Just like spots, these blocks also come in many types. Please continue watching the next video in the series to learn more about blocks.